Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be configuring DNS on my Ubiquiti firewall or Dream Machine Pro. So if you guys want to learn how to change your DNS server on your firewall, watch to the end and I want to show you. This is going to be a multiple, a multiple part video or multiple series video if you want to say that. Because my goal, I just got a new NAS and I want to start doing port forwarding in my firewall so I can access this from the outside. So I just want to make some changes to my firewall because I has, you know, I haven't done it in a bit. So I figured I'd just, you know, film the journey on getting my firewall where it is today to where I want to get it when I access my NAS from the outside world. Doing port forwarding, may create a VLAN, put it on a different VLAN on my switches and all that stuff. I don't do much networking on my channel, but figured I'd just document this journey. So let's jump into the video and have some fun. All right, folks, so here we are on the desktop. So before I forgot or before I forget, please like, subscribe and share the video. We're at 90K subscribers. So thank you so much for the support and love. So let's continue on with this video. So what we're going to be doing is setting up the DNS servers, uh, changing my DNS servers in my firewall, right? So my Ubiquiti Dream Machine. So just to give you a little background of what I'll be doing with my firewall in a very, very, very near future. I decided to make some changes on my network recently. And what I'm going to be doing, I bought two NASs, uh, two Synology NASs, and I'm going to be putting it as one to redundant, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I'll break down that project on video. But ideally, what I want to do is have one of my NASs accessible from the outside. So this is what I used to do in my old house. I used to use no, no IP and, and dynamic DNS and all that stuff to access certain resources, not, not for my NAS. It was for a server that I was hosting in my house. And yes, I can RDP to it. I had, you know, all these things open and it was more for personal reasons. It was not like anything with hacking or cyber. This was many years ago. But anyhow, the concept's the same. It's accessing in a resource from the outside world, right? You need to do port address and JSON. You need to do NAT. You have to do port forwarding. You have to do access rules and, you know, a create an object in your firewall and all this fun stuff in order for you to access that resource from the outside. So start from the inside out, right? I want to have my DNS servers the quickest they can be and the most secure, most secure, right? In quotes. So what, what I did is I decided to make a little video this morning. Happy Father's Day for all the fathers. It's Sunday morning. And I want to make the changes from my automatic DNS server settings in my firewall to one of these special ones, right? So here we have the top free public DNS servers. I just, that's what exactly what I Googled the best, I think I Googled the fastest free public DNS servers and I got this from Lime, um, LifeWire, right? So here we have a few, right? We have Google, we have Control D, we have Quad9, OpenDNS, Cloudflare, AdGuard, Clean Browsing, Alternate DNS, right? So if we come down here and you, you know what a DNS server is, I'm sure if you're gonna change your DNS servers, I hope so. Don't change something you don't know what you know what it's all about. But it'll you know it translate the you know DNS servers translate the friendly domain name into the browser, right? So if you go to for example LifeWire.com, it translates to a public IP address on in the back end. If you ping Cisco.com, you get the the public IP, right? So let's just keep coming down, and you can see you know a little a little um description of their dns servers right so google 8.8.8.8 8.8.4.4 uh, whatever and we can see you know promises three core benefits a faster browsing experience improved security accurate results without redirection right so every one of these gives you a little description is unique blah 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 blah, blah. so what I'm going to use, I want to, you know, I want to say that shortly, which one I'm going to use and the reason why I want to use it. Then you have Quad9, 
which it you know protects your computer and other devices from cyber threats by immediately and automatically blocking access to unsafe sites. So if you go in here and you, maybe you go to a you know a nef uh, like a bad site, nefarious site, then it's probably going to say no, want, want, want. We're not going to allow you there. So that's another thing to be careful of, right? So anytime you're changing your DNS settings, maybe you're creating like a DNS filter. So if you're doing something that maybe you're not supposed to do, or just the simple fact that you know you don't want to have any restrictions, make sure you pick these, you know, accordingly. So if we keep coming down, I used to use OpenDNS. That's what I said I use in my old house. I used to use OpenDNS and I enjoyed it, but I want to try something different. So if we come, keep coming down, we have Cloudflare 1.1.1.1 and 1.001. And it's the fastest internet DNS um, directory. And I like to, my privacy, blah, 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 right? So this is what I want to utilize. I want to use 1.1.1.1.0.0.1 for my DNS servers for my, I was going to say Sonic wall, for my Ubiquity, right? I do have several firewalls. Um, and I test different things out. So that's why I had that in my mind. Anyhow, I have a Cisco Firepower Threat Defense. I have an old ASA. I have a Palo Alto. I have a Checkpoint. Uh, I have a few, but I like my Ubiquity. Simple. I have a unified network. So now let's just go get to the, uh, the meat and potatoes, right? So that's the one I'm going to be choosing. Now, now here is... When you log into U Ubiquity, this is my dream machine. This is what you're going to get, right? So my devices, I have actually I have three devices. Oh, this is like two other devices. I have a network switch and then I have my uh, access points, right? So applications. So if we come up to applications, we can click on network, right? So when we click on network, we have everything here. Look, the top thing, YouTube. Thank God it was not something else. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, we can see here, we can see here everything on our Ubiquity. So now if we come over to the, let me make this a little smaller. So on the left hand side here, this is really one thing I really love about the new firmware. If you click on ports, I know this is not about this. So say for example, if I go to my switch, right? We can literally click these now and just like add these to a VLAN and tag and it's so, so convenient. And when, when we go to VLANs and you can see, but anyhow, I'm just on one flat VLAN right now, but let's just go to what the point of this video is. So let's go to settings on the bottom left, that little gear. And we have options here. We have Wi-Fi, networks, internet, VPN, blah, 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 blah. So if we go over to internet, we go to your primary WAN, right? And now if we come down, we will see IPv4 configuration, dynamic, that's fine for me. I don't have a static IP from my ISP. And then we have DNS settings. So if we click on uncheck auto, now we have DNS settings to put in, right? So this is where the magic happens. 1.1.1.1. And then my secondary is going to be 1.0.0.1. It's just that simple, right? And now we apply this. Now we can come back and that's pretty much it. How you can actually change your DNS settings for your, um, for your, uh, DNS, right? So now technically if I like go to Google, you can see, I just noticed that's a lot quicker, <laughs> way quicker. Usually it would actually like, um, for example, let, let's do a speed test. Let's go to speed test, right? And let, it's not gonna probably make it too much faster, but we'll see. Cause I have a gig. So that's pretty, that's pretty quick. So it's about 900, right? 920, whatever, 900, whatever, 900 and something. Let's see. Once it's done. So 934, so, oh, 935. So that's my download speed. And before I change my DNS settings, I actually, did test it, it was like eight 820. So I don't know, maybe it's a coincidence, maybe it's early in the morning, no one's really online, but the point of it is changing your DNS settings will be effective right away. 
and you will have a change in your internet speed and your browsing speed because these DNS servers are quicker. So that was pretty much it. I don't want to go into another rant, but that's how you change your DNS settings in any router, any firewall. You just go to your DNS settings of your internet, right? Because that's where you want to change it and just change it to whatever you want. Go on this site and look through each one of the DNS server uh, services and see which one lines up with what you want to do. Obviously with uh, Cloudflare that lined up with what I want to do. So I chose Cloudflare. So hopefully this was informative for you guys. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and thank you and subscribe, please. We're almost at hundred K. So uh, hopefully I hit hundred K before DEF CON, which is in two months. So let's go. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.